When you open Ad Edit, you'll see the listings for which you are the list agent. But it's easy to quickly find any Northstar MLS listings using the Ad Edit search feature. Note that you can't search other agents' incompletes and withhelds, but any listing that's available on Northstar MLS Matrix is searchable here. Let's walk through how it works, along with displaying and sorting your results. From the Ad Edit home screen, start typing what you're looking for into the search box. You can search by MLS number, listing agent, office, street address, city, or status. Once I start typing into the search box, the drop-down list will auto-populate and narrow. I can select as many filters as I want, and they will appear below the search bar when I've added them. If I've added three or more filters, a drop-down will be added that you can easily open and close. I can click the X on any filter that I want to remove from my search. If I have multiple pages of search results, I can click the arrow to move to the next set of results. Searching in Ad Edit searches across all property types. Property types and status are found in the drop-down below the search bar. Each time you open Ad Edit, the default selections are all property types. To make a change, click the drop-down and check the boxes that you want. For this demonstration, I'm looking for a specific listing agent, so I'll start typing the name. Once the name that you're looking for appears in the drop-down, click or tap to select it. If the name you want is highlighted, you can just hit the Enter key. I could stop my search there if I want all listings for this list agent, but I'm also looking for this agent's listings in a specific city, so I'll add it. I also only want listings that are in active status. My search results are now displayed and have been narrowed with my specific criteria. Ad Edit automatically displays your results in this grid view with a card for each listing. At a glance, each card shows the primary photo, MLS number, address, list date, list agent ID, and the list price. A banner at the bottom of the photo shows the status. If the expiration date is 14 days or sooner, a red banner at the top of the photo will alert you. On incompletes, it also shows if you have 14 days or less to save it as a listing before it automatically deletes. By default, the listing grid is sorted by most recently edited in the past 30 days. You can change that sort by clicking the drop-down and picking any of these alternate sorts. To view a listing, click anywhere on the listing card. Note that the section headers are in gray to indicate it is in view only mode. To edit the listing, click this edit icon at the top. The section headers are now in blue to indicate that I'm in edit mode. To copy a listing, click this copy icon for the listing you want to copy, then confirm. Click this icon if you want to see the history of changes that have been made to the listing. Back on our summary view, if you prefer a spreadsheet-like single-line view, click the List View icon. My results are now displayed in columns. Click on any column header to sort the field in ascending order. Click on it again to switch the sort to descending order. This card icon next to my name shows my MLS account details.